This anime is just gorgeous. Oh my god, the animation, the ambience, the atmosphere, the tone that it just sets, beautiful. At the end, when Yuffie was getting her virginity stolen, she started crying. And I think this goes back to the concept of freedom, how everybody's like, Yuffie, you're finally free now. But she doesn't see herself as free as the girl that's stealing her lap pillow virginity. What's gonna happen this time? I have no clue. Let's begin today's reaction. He tripped. Leave him. He's dead. That's kind of mean. But more than just the town the kingdom it's, it's a dragon like thing i think it's time to use our new magic tool oh we're right back at it okay still underneath the tree yo that magic tool the new weapon i think we're gonna use that to slay the dragon if we do that maybe yuffie's reputation will be restored but knowing this anime they're probably gonna spin it in a way that she's gonna be like considered a monster what's wrong doki doki that was a heartbeat and a half, huh? Why are you blushing? Hmm? Explain yourself. Head pad into a blush. Hmm. Hmm. You can fly too. Spread your wings. You think you're caged. She's so hard on herself. That's what she said last episode too during the meeting. You're not empty though, even though it, the imagery of an empty cup was just shown. <laughs> and her bed even being like a cage. How do we cure this depression? Through Yuri, the magic of Yuri, she will overcome this depression. I don't know. You... Go slay the dragon. You'll feel better. Yeah, we should go slay the dragon. Yeah, yeah. Save the kingdom. Restore our reputation and honor. And then? I'm not sure. An order? Hmm? She just wants orders to be pushed around, to give, be, you know, given the task. You should think for yourself. Yeah, you should, like, do things because you want to do it, rather than being told what to do. Maybe that's the effect of, oh my god, that's a hand like this. Hey, yo! Usually, even this is too lewd, but this? Jesus. Set you free from this cage so that you can spread your wings and fly free. But... Hmm. Yuffie's development into this depression is worrying me, but... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Just tucking her in, right? The hand is still like this. Yo, you gotta censor that, huh? It's like forehead to forehead, right? You're kind of close there. You're kind of close there. Commit! Do it! Do it! Look, she's closing eyes! Do it! They're just... Budding. Foreheads. Checking the temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's too early for the kiss, right? It's too early. But we still did this, though. We still did this. Oh, her hand like that. Annie's holding it? Damn, she held her hand the entire time. Annie-sama. They're perfect for each other. <laughs> they're so perfect for each other. Please get together. I mean, they kind of already are, but they haven't, you know, they haven't realized something, you know? There's gotta be a recognition because what is this dynamic right now? Does Yuffie understand? I don't think she does. Maybe that's where the magic comes from. This innocence of not knowing what they might want, but I definitely do. <laughs> oh, the prince. What's up? Hardly ever get perspectives from him. Freed of your meaningless house arrest. Yeah, you're gonna slay the dragon? I'm talking. Come on, dragon, dragon, dragon. Oh, are we... What's up? Oh? Anis' swordsmanship. But no fancy magic. Hmm. In battle, she learned from the royal knights. Yeah, she just goes out and hunts beasts. She's crazy. Hmm? So. Hanging up the bed sheets? <laughs> you follow her? Because. <laughs> she just followed her. And she just tried to do what you want. Want to help me out here? What are you, what are you doing? You just want to watch me? Like. She did, I just followed her because she had nothing to do. And that kind of lifestyle made her into this girl that can only serve. Everyone wanted me, but who, what do you want to be, right? She can't break out of this mindset of trying to please everybody, doing her, like, trying to be the best that she can be for the role that's assigned to her. Assign your own role! In the snare. <laughs> I would hope that she's trying to liberate. <laughs> 
Maybe she too was ensnared by the Marauder Princess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, Anis is such a good uh, influence on people. That's a little life like that, you know, being told what you gotta do. <laughs> I mean, hey, I think you guys should have a loving relationship with your parents, but I kind of get what they're saying. They, you know, not, not every parent to relationships goes that well, but just like, I hope they die. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, tightening a ribbon. Wow, some Edia and the Yuffie relationship is blooming. Oh. Okay. I think this is really needed for Yuffie. It's another familiar face around now, and they're like deepening their bond. She'll feel more comfortable around her. Oh? Dragon? Dragon! Give me the news. Yes, yes! Save the kingdom time! Because she's also an adventurer, isn't she? I mean, that's how this show started off. High ranking? How high? I want to know the whole ranking system. Gold. There's probably like platinum. Adamant types. Because she's the Marauder Princess, remember? Yeah, so that she needs the materials so she can craft better stuff, right? It's a dragon. It's an actual dragon? A stampede? Wait, but in the... Interesting, I swear to God, we saw a dragon. Monster shows up that's so big and powerful. The dragon, here it is, here it is. The whole pack's running in fear. Like, everybody is running away from the dragon. So, there's two stages. The stampede first, and then the dragon. Oh, ho, ho. She has the sense of duty to defend. No, she just wants the match side. It's, it's for the match. She just, I don't know if she actually cares about protecting the kingdom, but if it's to further, you know, uh, help her research, she needs that dragon magic site. Imagine what we could do to craft it. Yuffie's definitely gonna come later, if not now. Arakan seal, come on! Restore your reputation! Save the kingdom! But even after we do that, I don't know. Because the prince also got that message too, right? I don't yeah, I mean, she paves her own path. It is kind of ridiculous if you're in Yuffie's shoes, like, adventure? Slay a dragon? You're crazy! But maybe she'll decide to follow? Yeah? Some development? I too will go. Ooh, Yuffie stepping up? She's not shying away like the previous episodes. This is the Council of Boomers? Oh, uh, you tell me, King, what's going on then? This guy reminds me of Varys from... Uh, holy shit, I'm freaking Game of Thrones because... Bald, that's it. Dragon. You know, you think... <laughs> sorry, we can fly too! Anis can fly! No, aerial combat. <laughs> Get on the broomstick and fight. You know, this king really exudes like, confidence. He commands like, the entire council. He's no pushover. And then what would happen? We need to... The kingdom would be next prey. So maybe we can direct the mob somewhere else in the other direction of the kingdom somehow so that dragon also follows the mob. I don't know. But I'm telling you, aerial combat. We got a broom. And we have a Arakan seal too, right? Come on, come on. First dragon attack in the history of the kingdom. Bro, our reputation is gonna go so... So hard if we successfully do it, but I'm worried about the prince. The prince is gonna somehow kill steal. I don't know, steal our steal our uh, glory. I don't have a good feeling. Uh oh. Let me go slay it. Is the prince that strong? Can the prince really do this? Yeah. We've never seen him fight yet. I guess he's really strong. That's kind of crazy, huh? The crown prince is stepping up to fight like slay the dragon. A reward for defeating the dragon. Oh. Yeah. He has the resolve. Look at his eyes, though. Like you can shit talk all like him all you want about how he treated Yuffie, but this dude, you know, he's making some moves. But is he strong? How strong is he? God damn, this dude's willing to risk his life to fight a dragon for some pussy. 
some commoner pussy too. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. There's no the difference between, between royal and, and commoner pussy, but you know what I'm saying? Like, this dude's really trying to fight this dragon. Yeah? Ooh, that's a power play in front of all the executives right there on the table. Huh. If only she had the ability. She's talking about Anya's insecurities? Hmm. So that's what their dynamic is like. Because Anya's like shines like the sun, but she doesn't have magic. Yet she's still out there. And she gets compared to the little brother. Ha ha. That's why he has those like hatred for her. Envy, jealousy. Everybody talks shit behind the scenes, huh? Hmm. Does he truly have no talents? She should be the real. Yeah, she should be the one on the throne. You saw his eyes. Yeah? <laughs> the way he said that was pretty epic. Damn. The things are getting really hype. All, like, out of nowhere, the past two episodes has been just like pretty chill, world building, a little Yuri moment, but. <laughs> She's already out there before he could even decree the order onto him. She's already on her broom. What order? I'll just do it myself. This has got to be the best episode so far. We're And this is still setting up for the next episode. Your shit's about to pop off real hard, but it's really interesting to see the dynamics between the sister and the brother. Finally, now I understand why he has such like content for her. Things are going to get pretty good, but I still think that he's going to steal the glory somehow at the end, or Yuffie won't be able to restore reputation because it would be too easy this early on. But hey, if you're still here and if you didn't enjoy my reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.